Welcome to 843 TV. I'm your host, Carrie Smoot from the Village Spa. And I'm Wayne Morris with WHHI TV. And today we are here in the studios at WHHI here on Hilton Head Island. Our first guest is Mr. Wes Loper. He is the beach club manager at Melrose on the Beach on Defusky, which is a very new, exciting place that's got all kinds of stuff going on. So I'm kind of excited to yeah, see what he has to say. Another great reason to go to Defusky. Yeah, we <laughs> like we need another them. reason. <laughs> Uh, our second guest is Emily Johnson. Emily is uh, the managing partner for Polaris Capital Advisors. She also has a TV show here on WHHI called Money Matters, uh, which is very good. And she's going to talk about an unfortunate topic of divorce, but you got to be ready if it's coming. Yes. Um, and she's going to be giving us some insights and some tips on, on that and just other financial tips. And last but not least, we have Miss Charlie Clark. She's with the Hilton Head Island Bluffton Chamber of Commerce. She's here to discuss how the chamber gets involved with the school and things that the community can do to help everybody out, yeah. which is help a really teachers, interesting help program. Help kids. I mean, I can't believe it's back to school. I know it's here crazy. We are. It's the shortest summer <laughs> ever. <laughs> so make sure that you come back for more 843 TV, where communities come to speak. Eight four three TV, where the town of Hilton Head Island comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where Defusky Island comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where the Hilton Head Island Bluffton Chamber comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where communities come to speak. Welcome to 843 TV. We are here now with Mr. Wes Loper. He is the Beach Club Manager at Melrose on the Beach. Hi, everybody. How Thank you, you for joining us. So there's a lot going on on Defusky at Melrose on the Beach. Tell everybody what's going on. There are there. We're actually under new um, management from a management group out of um, Salt Lake City, Utah, called Pol Polaris. And um, they we've done wonderful things, starting off with the Beach Club. Um, there's a lot of other stuff that's actually happening on the island, too. We're, um, and talks to like redo the end. We have the equestrian center open. We have a 18 hole Jack Nicholas design golf course. So, I mean, I'm, we're, like I said, starting out with gangbusters moving up. So I'm enjoying myself. Kind of open big. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Go big or go home. Hey, exactly. <laughs> tell, really. tell us a little bit about the beach club specifically. What is, what is that? Um, that's one of the first kind of properties that we've actually opened and started to build up our brand with. And um, it's, we're trying to get kind of the high-end market. Um, we have full bar, really nice wine list. Um, we're really lucky on Defusky Island because from the beach you can see Hilton Head and Savannah. Mm -hmm. And with work that I've done previously, I know a lot of local um, like organic farmers and stuff, so I'm actually able to use both coasts and source a lot of our fresh produce and meats and cheeses and things like that. So but if you're sitting on Hilton Head, just out of curiosity, if you're at Harbor Town and looking over at Tefusky, where is the beach club? Can I see it? Well, if you're the... in like Sea Pines and you look mm -hmm. directly over from Sea Pines, I mean, you can see the beach club right there. I okay, mean, so that's yeah. it. Mm -hmm, Got that's it. it. Right well, on the end. Wes, what makes it, what would you say makes it unique? Because it's not, obviously it's on an island, which makes it unique as right. well, just on Tefusky for a dining experience. What distinguishes the restaurant from someplace else? Um, well, especially in this area, like I said, it's, um, there's very few places that are right on the edge of the water. So you can actually, like I said, see Savannah, or Tybee Island, and Hilton Head from, from where you are. And we, um, like I said, we're trying to kind of go into the higher end kind of market. Um, the food that we have um, is just impeccable. The chef that we had is actually trained in France and Italy. So he's, he brings a lot to the table. And it's just really good, like I said, to be no able to work. Intended. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But it's good just to be able to, um, like I said, source a lot of the fresh stuff that we're getting. So a lot of times we don't even know what's going to be on the nightly menu till maybe two o'clock in the afternoon when stuff comes in. So it's like we're able to kind of play, make things fresh and new. It's exciting. Yeah. And I would imagine um, catering, special events, oh, you yeah. handle all that. Definitely. We're um, in the main part of the dining room. We're able to do about 70 people or something in there mm -hmm. comfortably mm -hmm. um, and we um, have our own you know wedding coordinator and things like that on you know on site on premises and we can do you know special menus um, 
we've done buffets before things I mean from anywhere from just something basic out on the beach like oyster mm -hmm. roast things like that up to something like I said extremely kind of high-end with all mm -hmm. uh, champagnes and wines yeah. and coarse pairings and things like that we're able to kind of accommodate anything in between yeah so. I've been I've been to Melrose a couple times uh, one was the the Marsh Tacky races, oh, yeah. and that was certainly a special right. event that they handled right. pretty well. And, you know, we had the 4th of July event, which was our kind of our soft opening. Right. And we, I think I lost count around 700 people Whoa. there. So, yeah, I mean, it was just exciting to kind of look out and just see everybody there. Yeah. yeah we, but uh, everything's nice, and um, y'all are doing a great job. I can't wait till uh, everything's full scale and everybody's yeah, exactly, out there. Exactly, exactly. Um, well, the number one question, too, always is, well, how do we get there? Because sometimes that makes people nervous because they're like, well, I don't know how to get there. I don't know what to do. So what would you um, recommend if they wanted to come to Midwest? Is, well, as far as like resource wise, you can go on um, to, to fuskyallenmagazine.com. And there's, um, once you go on the site, there's like a resources drop box. You can go under that and it'll tell you um, all the different ways, like prices, rates, things like that. Also, on that same kind of tab, you can see about like lodging and things like that. We're um, like I said before, we're kind of going into getting the end redone. A lot of the cottages that we have are getting redone. Um, so there's, you know, kind of lots of ways to get over. So and do you have, right now, do you currently have overnight lodging available or is that still well, waiting for an open? That's still kind of waiting for an open, okay. but we do have um, places on site in Melrose that are available, like I said, through those resources. You can, it gives okay. you kind of a list of all the numbers and stuff like that. You so can if somebody, somebody wants a nice staycation for the weekend, they can go. Oh, oh definitely. Perfect. But yeah, Wes, yeah. if I want to just go to dinner on Saturday night, I live on Hilton Head Island, so my husband and I want to just go to dinner on Saturday night. Can we do that? Can we just? Yeah, sure. And then so we just what we take a ferry over and have yeah, dinner just, and then yeah, ferry on a, back. Take one of the ferries over. We'll come, you know, pick you up from the dock <laughs> if you want to, or you know, get a golf cart and come uh -huh. on up and see us and then um, have dinner, we'll, you know, take you back that evening. Now so. we know the service is fancy. What's the dress code? Um, well we have we have a pool there on site too. So we've got like two pools and two like uh, I guess whirlpools and stuff in there too. So it's like actually kind of a large site. So we have people coming in um, not really that you, we want you in there in bathing suits, but right. it kind of happens, you know, it's too busty out. <laughs> but um, we, like I said, we have the beach club side and outdoors is kind of very casual. But then we have, you know, a set of double doors that you walk through and it's like, a you know, nice room. linens. Do you, you have know, a full menu glasses. outside as well? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We, uh, you can actually get the full menu at the pool also. So you can do whatever kind tickles of, your fancy. Exactly. Coastal casual exactly. as yes. we always call it. <laughs> exactly. Coastal casual. So it's the exactly. normal stuff for the island. <laughs> right, right. So for everyone that heard this and wants to go check you guys out, where do they need to go? Um, like, well, we can, you can go on MelroseOnTheBeach.com. Okay. Also, you can call like me directly if you want to. Um, the, our phone number at the Beach Club is 843-341-2640. Uh, are reservations required for um, this, or can we go a spur of the moment? You can kind of go spur of the moment, but here lately we've been, I mean, doing services. We've been doing a lot of people every day, mm -hmm. um, even for lunch. So it's just to make sure that you get the best service possible and the best food possible. Um, we, we do kind of recommend that you How much are y'all sourcing from Savannah, just out of curiosity? Um, 20%, maybe 25%. And like I said, it's just kind of with the farmers that Chef George and I know already. So, yeah, keep All it in right. the same family, you know. Well, everybody go check out Melrose on the Beach. It's a beautiful place, and we can't wait till it gets open all the way. I know, right? <laughs> it's yeah. very, very close. <laughs> well, excited. thank you for being with us. It's my pleasure. And make sure that you come back for more 843 TV.